Hello and welcome to Everything Amiibo. Today I've got the Link Amiibo review, which is well overdue. Um, sorry about that. As I had already said, I've been super busy. So, basically, I'm going to go through a pretty detailed review on this Link Amiibo, but this is only half of it. This is going to be the physical review. So, going over three categories, that is build quality, detail, and character. So, stay tuned for the digital side of the review, but for now, let's get on with this physical review. So, starting out with build quality. Um, it's a sturdy overall um, amiibo, just or a general action figure, really. Seems pretty sturdy, and the like sort of central core of it is very, very sturdy, so it gives a general feel of it being sturdy. It's reasonably heavy for its weight, which is good. So generally all over sturdy. Um, everything on it is made of presumably the same, um, this sort of non-bending plastic. It's like a very solid plastic that feels about as strong as metal. Um, everything on here except for two parts. So everything on here is properly in place. Even this little skirt here is, you can't move it which is really awesome. The problem is, there are actually two parts um, that are made of a different plastic, or are shaped in some different way. So, we've got the Master Sword, which bends up and down really easily. And then we've got his sheath as well, which bends up and down really easily. Now, the bending isn't really that bad, unless you're worried of, you know, hitting it off something and maybe bending it out of shape. The main problem, is that left alone, if you look right here, it actually bends itself downwards. So unfortunately, if you just leave it, it doesn't say stay straight. You can see it again right here. So that's a pretty big annoyance because after maybe a couple of years or a couple of months, um, his sword might be pretty darn bent, which would look a bit stupid. So anyway, um, then there was the hat, of course, that fell off. So that proves a couple of things. Firstly, um, it's not all one piece. It's not all one mold. Some of it is, I'm sure. Probably from the feet all the way up to the head is one mold here. And then I'm not sure about the shield and the sword. But this hat piece is a separate piece that was molded and then stuck onto the top. Um, apparently with not enough glue. So, you know, not that great actual factory build quality, considering they missed out that glue, and um, it would be nice for it to have all been in one mold, but it's not. Oh well. So, now we're on to the detail. Firstly, there's almost no errors throughout this whole um, amiibo. Painting errors, I mean. So any sort of, like, painting outside the lines, you won't be able to see too much if there is or if there isn't. Generally it looks good. Um, there's a couple little scratches and wrong colors, but nothing you could notice um, if you just looked at it. You'd have to really properly dig deep to find them, so that's pretty awesome. And if you look at something like Skylanders, there's always painting errors on every single one of them. So, um, the detail is really, really good. Like, on this shield, amazing detail, but it goes even smaller than that. Even on his sheath, it goes as small as... Come on, focus. No? No? Anyway, right in here, there's a little Triforce inside of all of that. I'm so sorry this is not... There you go. Look how tiny that Triforce is. <laughs> they actually went that far and put that tiny little Triforce in the detail. That just shows generally how amazing the level of detail on this amiibo is. So, that's an absolutely amazing point. Um, and the only thing really that lets down as far as detail goes is his face. His eyes are great, but the mouth and the nose pretty much don't exist. You can see it's just a bit of a blur of skin. It looks even worse in real life, actually. Um, which is a shame. So, yeah. And the detail is all... 
It's all around, which is awesome. So some figures that you might get, if you look at from them from behind, it might be a little lacking. So they're meant for, you know, one certain angle. If you look at them from like the bottom or from the top, you know, but this is absolutely perfect every single side. So you look at from the top, the hat has all the detail of anything that anything on the front might have. And the same even with um, the underside of Link, so all the way right up to where his trousers meet his little skirt. It's all detailed all the way up to there, which is awesome. So that's great. No hidden, you know, lack of detail. And now we're on to the character section. So the actual Link that is on this amiibo is the, I like to call him the Smash Bros. Link. He is essentially the Twilight Princess Link because that's what he was in Brawl, and they didn't seem to change it. <laughs> He's slightly different. I think his um, tunic is a lighter green than the Twilight Princess tunic, but otherwise, his sheath, his Master Sword, and his shield are the exact same as the Twilight Princess um, stuff, lacking a teeny little bit of detail like the stripes on the hilt of the Master Sword. It's just a plain blue, if you see that. But otherwise, yeah, it's pretty much Twilight Princess Link, and it's definitely Smash Bros. Link, so, you know, it's it blends in well with that, but it won't blend in well with every game that Link's in. For example, Mario Kart. It doesn't look like the Mario Kart Link, so, you know, it won't work for every Link, unlike maybe some other characters like Kirby, who will always work for Kirby. Um, then there's... Well, there's the pose. Yeah, <laughs> um, I was never really fond of this pose. I mean, the first thing I would think of for Link would maybe be an, one of his items, because that's kind of what he's famous for, for his puzzle solving, and even for his combat, his items. Or maybe a sword slash, maybe a backflip, or a sort of defensive position. Anything but a jump. <laughs> I mean, if you really think about it, the last thing that you would pose Link as is jumping because he's notorious for not being able to jump in any of his games. It it pretty much works for Smash Bros, um, I'd have to say, because Link does jump a lot in Smash Bros and he's a lot about being that like, you know, action type of player and he's constantly doing something like throwing his um, boomerang or his bombs and jumping and spinning and everything. He's not he's not standing still, so it works for Smash Bros. Link, but for Link in general, it seems a bit silly to me. I would prefer something like an item out or a sword slash. So there you have it, the physical half of the review for the Link Amiibo, and my final score will be 8.0 out of 10, which is a pretty good start for my Amiibo reviews, and I'm really looking forward to comparing it to the other Amiibo. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Everything Amiibo and make sure you stay tuned for the other half of the review and many more Amiibo reviews coming shortly. Thanks for watching.